everyone here and everyone watching, I want you to proudly claim your patriotism. You are here because you love your country. Do not give an inch to pretenders who wrap themselves in the flag, but spit in the face of freedoms it represents. Name that voice. That voice, Alyssa Slotkin, member of Congress, former CIA operative, I guess you would say, from the Holly and Howell and Lansing and Oakland County District. And uh, she's running against someone who held that seat before her, Mike Rogers. They both want to be in the United States Senate, the most exclusive club in the world. She spoke yesterday at the Democrat National Convention, and Donald Trump had come in just this week for Mike Rogers and met him in Howell for an event at the sheriff's office, I think it was. Dave Dulio is the director for the Center of Civic Engagement at Oakland University, distinguished professor in the political science department and on our radio stage right now. Thank you for being back here. Well, thanks for having me, Michael Patrick. A lot of talk about the presidential race, but that Senate race, uh, last I saw, if it matters, was about dead even in the polls. Yeah, I think at this point, uh, the, the polling that I've seen lately would probably show that uh, Alyssa Slotkin is up a, a couple of points. Um, but I think it's going to be a, a, a close race, just like the, the presidential one here in Michigan. And, um, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be one of those knockdown dragouts uh, for the next uh, couple of months. Do you think that when you have the Democrat convention and all the coverage and, of course, the adoring media coverage of such an event this week, that it skews the perception of people who are watching casually uh, in terms of momentum for the Democrat candidate or, conversely, the Republican? Oh, that, yeah, that's an interesting way to put it. Uh, momentum, I think that, you know, we'll see. I, I would imagine that Vice President Harris gets a bit of a polling bump coming out of the convention, which is pretty standard. Um, you know, momentum might be a way to put that. But, I, I, look, I think the, the campaign begins in earnest now. Uh, they have both had their chance at their controlled and scripted conventions. Um, you know, Vice President Harris, as you mentioned, has uh, had a month-long honeymoon, uh, arguably like any other like no other candidate has seen, right, where there's mm -hmm. been almost no pushback from the press. Um, and and it's interesting to me that here in Michigan, uh, she seems to have the, the airwaves to herself. I think that will stop. And and I think that uh, the Trump campaign and its allies are really going to start to uh, try to drive up her negatives, um, uh, really by talking about the, the last three and a half years. Well, Donald Trump's coming back to Michigan Monday to speak at the National Guard Conference, so they're definitely taking Michigan seriously for what it's worth. And uh, I just wonder, I know there's one debate coming, uh, and I don't know, I'm sort of dubious that there'll be any other ones after that ABC presidential debate. Yeah, it sure seems like there isn't going to be any uh, any other one after that. I think the I read a, a story the other day that... Uh, uh, Trump is going to do a, a town hall on Fox News um, since the debate that he proposed there didn't uh, materialize. Um, you know, and, and isn't that, that kind uh, of a not to interrupt you, but a useless point because you, if you're speaking to anybody on Fox News, you already have their vote. Absolutely, it, it yeah, he, he's preaching to the choir, right? What he needs to do is for the rest. It, frankly, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump have the same job over the next couple of months, right? They have to continue to energize their base, which is why Trump is going to go on Fox News. Uh, but they also have to try to uh, get those last remaining few persuadable voters, right, those gettable voters, who, well, frankly, they're going to be the ones who decide this election. I listened to some, I don't even remember the dude's name, but it was some podcast yesterday that my son told me about that Donald Trump went on, and it was a guy who has something to do with UFC, and um, it made news this week, and the guy also uh, deals with recovery from alcoholism, and they talked for 45 minutes, whatever, and I, I do have to say, like it was aimed at young people, like you're saying, something a little different. Donald Trump, he can get on there and just sound like a normal person and talk with people. And um, he has a gift for that that I, I, I'm yet to see from the vice president, at least publicly. Well, I think uh, I would say two things, um, or maybe several. 
I think that's uh, that might be Theo Vaughn um, yeah. and his podcast. That? Is that, yeah, yeah, he uh, uh, he's he's popular with the kids, as they say. And uh, you know, Trump can be he not always, but he can be pretty authentic, right? Where he just comes and and speaks. Right now, mm-hmm. there's a point at which that you know <laughs> maybe goes on for too long. But you know, your point about him juxtaposed versus uh, Vice President Harris is, I think, a good one. And, and it, you know, we, we haven't seen that from her because the campaign hasn't let it happen, right? They, they, the, she has spoken and, and, and been part of produced and controlled and scripted events rather than sitting down and just talking to somebody. Those videos in the convenience store, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that with her with her running mate and they're looking for corn nuts. It, it was, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> clearly, it's like a, a cringeworthy Hollywood production, wasn't it? Well, I'm, and <laughs> for, it, it's interesting, right? The, the These campaigns are filled with really, really smart people, yet they, you know, many times have these, uh, staged events that that just come off terribly, right? I mean, the the, the certainly the the one that is most famous or infamous is you know uh, Michael Dukakis in a tank uh, here here in in you know uh, in in southeast Michigan in Macomb County, um, and it was just the worst thing that that they could have ever done, and um, you know that that sin sometimes gets repeated, and that was before things were even viral. Yeah, that was the that tank. was a vi- that was a viral video before viral videos. Okay, so uh, I guess as you say, now the the pageants are over, and now the media. When do they start asking for a genuine interview with the vice president? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I think that at some point, you know, it it has to happen, right? I mean, I, I but I think the Harris campaign they're really happy with the way things are going. So why would they do anything different? We live in interesting times, and Dave Dulio covers it all at Oakland University, distinguished professor in the political science department, and we learn from him. This is just like being at Oakland University.